Are we there? We're there. Hey, everybody. Thank you for listening to the newest episode presented by Talent Co. Real Estate of Sadie and Sean. Have no friends. Sean, you are, you, how much water do you drink in a day? Because half the time when I'm like editing these, I'm like, damn, he drinks so much water constantly. I try to, oh, I'm not talking into my microphone. I, I try to record our goodness. It's going to be one of those days. I can't even think <laughs> two or three it. of these, two or three of these liter things a day. Oh, That's I'm so too. bad. I'm Lots so bad. Well, you only drink that brand because I only really like Arrowhead. And I'll, it, it's a weird reason. It's because I like it because it tastes a little like dirt. It does taste like dirt. It feels like you have to chew it. I won't drink water. I would I would die. I would die of thirst before I drank Arrowhead water. It's gross. I love it. That's all I buy. <laughs> Look, I, I actually yeah. tastes like shit. Yeah, that's not good. I don't so I refill this. Yeah. I, so it's all a mental game for me, like everything else. I have to trick myself into drinking water. So I bought this giant jug. I wish I had it in here because it's not far. It's like two rooms over, but it's a giant jug and it's like three liters. And I look at it and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to drink that. And I find myself not drinking it. But this seems manageable. And so I just buy this once a week and I refill it all week and I can get through two or three of them, which is the same amount of water that's in the big jug that I can't ever finish. So it's like a mind game for you. Yeah. Just have to trick myself, <laughs> trick myself into doing a lot of things, Sadie. That's what my life is, me okay. tricking myself. <laughs> Are you okay today? <laughs> no. I, I, what's wrong? I'm good. I'm just, I. Uh, we talked about it in, I, I believe this episode will drop on a Monday, but last week I was. Um, Are you tired? Yeah, I was just gone in Texas and I did a lot of stuff. And then yeah. last night. I had a lot of stuff to watch. I needed to watch the Nuggets, who lost by 45 freaking points. They were down by 50 points at one time. And if you know anything about basketball, which you don't, Sadie. I know some points, things. Go. 50 points is a lot of stinking points. Like, you don't get down by 50 points. The best team playing the worst team doesn't lose by 50 points. And the, Nug the Nuggets are supposed to be the best team, and they lost by 45 points last night. But... I'm uh, I'm a true fan, so I sat through that, and then I had the at ACM point, awards. You, you didn't turn it off at all. I finally like I threatened to turn it off, and then I came back because so I'm like, yeah, what if they what if they figured it out? I know that's always well the that worst. And so One I time, came back to it. Um, we went to a Broncos game, and we had like really good seats through Ryan's company, and um, it was when Tim Tebow played. It's that that's oh, yeah. how long ago it was. But it was the game where at the end, Tim Tebow shocked the world and ran and won the game. And it was like everybody was losing their mind and we were halfway to the car. That was and Jesus. I was like, I am going, to, we just need to go home. I'm not going time, back. That was the first time in your life you experienced Jesus. Okay, explain that to me. What do you mean? Tim Tebow, the, everybody says that all oh. those miracles, because he was a bad, bad football player. He was not good. He shouldn't yeah. have even been in the NFL as a quarterback. That's for sure. And yet he kept winning games <laughs> like he would play horrible. The yeah. By far the worst quarterback in football at the time and maybe one of the worst of all times. And he would win football games. He would find ways to and pull like, out no these, one like, could wild miracle. Because yeah. again, it was. But he's extremely religious and. Yeah. As a matter of fact, at one point he used to get hate because he would like kneel and pray on the field and some people didn't like that. And he would on his eye black in the NFL, you can't, but in college on his eye black, he would write Bible verses and just like be very open with his faith. And there was a lot of haters because of that. And then when he would win by these miracles, people were just like, see, Maybe Bible verses, more. Yeah. <laughs> Put Bible verses on your face and kneel and pray during the games, and you might be good too. And the miracles shall happen. Yeah. It's so funny the Nuggets that you, needed Jesus last night. Well, it's they funny that you it. bring up Jesus because my shirt today, and if you're not watching this, you can find it on YouTube or Facebook. Um, it just remember this shirt from back in the day. It has <laughs> this doesn't look like Jesus, but this is supposed to be Jesus. And it's the Jesus is my homeboy. And I tell you that, Sean, because one time I went out to dinner and I wore Jesus is my homeboy shirt with like a blazer and 
somebody in my family like messaged me about how much of a sin it was that I wore this shirt. Now you're a church going man. Do you, I don't think it's sinful. He, my homeboy, it's not like saying I hate Jesus. Who would say that? One of your Much top less, jobs. What? Well, go ahead. It's, well, no, one of your top jobs as a Christian is to spread tell the word. About Jesus. Yeah. And so uh, to and me, I, that you're doing your due diligence. I wouldn't even say like, again, I'm not like super religious. I feel like I'm spiritual, but I just, I'm not like really religious, but that kind of shocked me, but I still wear it, obviously. I mean, I spiritual, believing person. in witchcraft and, and people who put spells on people and psychics is not <laughs> spiritual, by the way. Okay. So <laughs> this made me laugh so hard yesterday. We got done with the show and I always feel like I have to like rush to get Sean to his next thing. I'm like, I'm like your handler. I'm like, okay. And so I have to ask these questions in speed mode. And I said, okay, I have a psychic lined up to come in and do our interview and uh, an interview. And Sean, I have never, I know you're kind of a scaredy cat, but I, yesterday you like kind of freaked a little bit. You I didn't freak. I just said, I don't want anyone doing witchcraft on me. That's all I said. And I mean it. I, can, I stand don't by my need statement. Witch craft what are you no, what are you afraid of it, to me it, you're gonna think i'm crazy and that's fine i can be crazy no, it's fine. Um, I, when you start having those people read those cards to you and like ouija boarding you and all of those kind of things you're you open up like a portal to pandora's box to bad shit and i don't want bad shit so i don't i'll i'll have them you can have the ouija board on you and they can read the cards to you and other people what if and she they can gets tell like a you, vibe and wants to tell you nope, something i don't you're I don't serious want, so you're i don't gonna, want them putting that on me so you're not gonna talk <laughs> i'm gonna have to talk the entire episode no i i want to know i see this interview going like what weird things have you heard from the afterlife how do you do your job not necessarily coming on to do the readings and the witchcraft <laughs> tell us about the witchcraft you've done don't do it on us well, they can do it on you. I don't give a shit, but not on me. Not psych psychics aren't all wizards and witches. You're so funny. Yes, they are. What do you call it? I will say that um, I went to a Halloween party months ago, and um, they had a tarot card reader. And yeah, I was like, oh, cards. damn. Oh, damn. And I'm like, uh, will you read my whatever? I mean, the cards. But let me tell you, it really freaked me out. Um, <laughs> it really freaked me out because, um, not that she was like spot on or on point, but as she was like, first of all, she was drunk. I'm just going to say that. And so that was a horrible way to start the card reading. And so she was kind of like, Ooh, and I'm like, are you okay to do this? Like, don't freak me out and say like, read the wrong person's cards and tell me I'm going to die. Right. And she's like, no, you're fine. What's your name? And I said, okay, my name is Sadie. And so she like flips through the cards and she is flipping and I'm standing there and I'm kind of sweating a little. Cause I'm like, what if she finds something awful? You in danger girl. Like you have vagina cancer. And I'm like, Whoa! and so I was sweating a little bit. Like, what if it's bad news? And she just kept shuffling and shuffling. I shit you not, four minutes went by. And I'm like, how much shuffling you got to do on those cards? And she looked up at me like she didn't know I was there. And she goes, what's your name? And I thought, this is the shittiest psychic I've ever fucking met. Because I already told one you. you have coming on the show. <laughs> no, it's a different one. And listen, peace to her and love, because I don't want to piss off a psychic. But I was like... You know what? I'm going to take this with a grain of salt. Because you are falling down drunk a little bit. And I don't think you're making the right decisions with psychic readings. But it made me laugh. And Do you something... believe in that, by the way? I'm curious, like for real. Do you believe that like she can shuffle a deck of cards and do whatever sort of magic shit she's got to do with them and lay them all out and then pull them over? And that's really going to tell you your future or your past or do I believe talk in to it? dead people? Yeah, you believe that that's real. Do you believe know. that there's like power in that? I used to know, and I guess I still do, a woman who 
was never like a psychic person and her son passed away like unexpectedly just got like the flu Mm -hmm. and died and she was like he comes to me and he tells me all of these things and blah 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 and i was always like on the fence like are you serious but then it's like i didn't want to ask her like are you pretending And I feel like we got kind of close, like, you know, she was at a lot of radio station events and she did like psychic readings uh, on air and, and it was cool, but I was always like, that would be fucked up if that were not true. Like if you really didn't see your kid and then, you know, let's go ahead. Sorry. You know, you remember Miss Cleo and she had back in the day, everyone from our era remembers Miss Cleo. She was the Jamaican psychic lady on TV, and you could call the number, and she would give you readings. They proved that she was a fraud, and she admitted it. Yeah, she did admit it, and before she died, she, which, how the fuck did she not see that coming? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's right. what I don't get. It's like, you, you know when everyone see? else is going to die, but not yourself? <laughs> I know, and now that there's TikTok and social media, I think it's harder to fool people, and so... um you know, because I've seen TikTok videos where they're like, look at how this trick works and how this is not real. And then I'm kind of like, oh, whoa, OK, I could see that. It's it's kind of like trickery, but I don't know. I never want to claim someone's a liar. You know, who am I? I don't who am I? I don't well, know. I mean, maybe they really feel that way. Maybe they yeah. really feel like some sort of energy from the sky and it's telling them that like. Your grandma is talking to them. I'll tell you this much. Like if I died and I was a ghost or I was up in heaven and I needed to speak to somebody, the last yeah. person I'm going to go to to talk to is the lady that's dressed in all black that looks like she's a witch. Like, okay, but I'm not going to if... go talk through her. I'm going to go just like directly to you. I want to talk to Sadie today. I'm going to show up in her bedroom as my little ghost <laughs> self. And I'm going to be like, hey, bitch, I got something to tell you. It really is like we're brother and sister, and uh, because that's what would definitely happen. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I'm interested to see what she has to bring to the table. I'm a little worried because Sean is very, like, unsure, and I don't want to put him in a situation where he's, like, scared he's opening a portal to hell. I'm not worried about that. Here's the situation that I'm worried about. that I'm going to come across, like, because I can't. As much as I'm a nice guy and we've talked about that, I also am not a good faker. And so, like, I'm not going to be able to fake some of this stuff. I'm afraid I'm going to offend this lady <laughs> when I'm like, no, nope, that's that's fine. Which will make stupid. it even more what fun to watch you, on video. <laughs> what you just said is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. There is no way that you talk to my old English bulldog who died last summer and he told you that he misses his bones. You no, know, because he didn't eat bones you bitch <laughs> yeah you liar <laughs> you just thought since he was a dog and he was fat that he ate nope he didn't he didn't he eat, was bones. Diabetic. He ate french fries he loved mcdonald's french fries that's what I, he liked not I bones ju- i just took my dog through burger <laughs> god dang it I love burger. how about this your rabbit like do you feed your rabbit people food uh she eats like grapes and vegetables like i give her lettuce Have and i'm giving her learning. a french fry no, I don't want, like, I have this fear that she'll get massive diarrhea somehow and it'll just be like a mess. And I don't do well in those situations. Like, there have been times where Maggie, our golden retriever, has sharded everywhere in the night. And it's just like, I can't handle this. I can't process this. And so Ryan is actually very amazing about cleaning it up. And then he lights candles and he's like, you can come downstairs now. I'm like, well, maybe York, York. Maggie wouldn't chart so much if you would not take her through the drive through at Burger King. Well, that was the first time I'd actually ever done that because I've seen people go to like Starbucks and get their dog a coffee or something. Yeah, it's called a puppuccino. It's just whipped cream. It's just whipped cream. And well, so I'm like, so if they're really fancy at Starbucks, some of them will put a dog treat in the whipped cream. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And, so, yeah. and then pay $6.95 for it. Mm-hmm. But, um, I don't know. So I took her the other day and I thought, well, I, I like Burger King. Let's see if my dog does. And she loved it. She loved huh. that frame broiled taste. <laughs> I would have never guessed that your dog would probably like Burger King. 
I probably wouldn't guess that that night she also, also started all over the living room. And and you probably just told Ryan, huh? Must have been a bad batch of dog food. And really, it was the Whopper she ate for lunch. <laughs> yeah, but in all fairness, I've seen her eat her own shit. And so I'm like, was it the Whopper? Uh, no, she hasn't had diarrhea in quite a while. We have a fountain in our backyard. It's not super crazy fancy. It's just rocks. And... Uh, she used to go and drink the water <laughs> and it was like she got the shits and then it was like a mess it was horrible because not to become gross and i apologize about this but big dogs when they go to the bathroom it's like an adult person that just shit in your living room and it's 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 the worst thing i've ever experienced she once was so diarrhea she it was on the walls yeah, we I'm like, that. we're selling the house. We're selling the house as is. And we're just going to have to say our dog sharded all night. And uh, this house is ruined. But if at you like it. Huh? At our last house, we had Chief, the English Bulldog I just told you about. He had a he had a bad night like that one time. And the baseboards on the wall are all white, like white, white. And it was all over those. And like, there's no amount of scrubbing that could get the, no. the tint of brown off. And, but no. I also am not a very handy guy, so I couldn't replace just that piece of baseboard or even the whole baseboard if I wanted to because I don't know how to do that. So I just left it. And when we sold the house, I'm sure that the people, when they were like looking at the house and they saw brown on one piece of the baseboard, they were like, huh, I wonder what kind of coffee they spilled on the baseboard. Nope, that's dog shit, my friend. Bastard! That's dog shit. Okay, this is a good time to pause and talk about our friends at Talent Co. Real Estate. <laughs> Sean, she needs to protect you from people like Sean, who hides the dog shit all over there. I didn't hide it. And it yes. was out there for the world to see. I could have painted over it. I think I would have just painted over it. Amy, who's the owner of Talent Co. Real Estate, she needs to protect people like us from you when buying a home. And she knows what she's doing. So go check you her think out. Amy? Homes and, home and no home and homeandnoco.com. What? Do you think Amy would go into a house that you were potentially wanting to buy and she would look it over and she would see on one piece of white baseboard brown and she would go to you and she would say, hey, that's probably dog shit. We shouldn't buy this house because I don't uh, think that that little piece of should deter you from buying from an buying entire house. house. Yeah, no, I mean, true. there's worse sure? things like I used to try to see how far I could. No, this is gro too gross. I can't go here. No, I want to know. I want to no, know. I can't go here. I was making Go to the bathroom or the other thing? No, 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 The other thing? Yeah. You tried to see it? Yeah, that, that's worse than dog shit on the baseboard. I need to know exactly because I'm picturing one kind of situation. You were not going down this. I didn't mean to even think this way. I'm just the guy. I just need you about to say. To get way too, it, there's locker room humor and then there's like really crude locker room humor and i was almost gonna go there and that's not where this show goes and so we're gonna stop and you can use your imagination as to what i might have been saying okay. and we'll move on now but what i was can getting I say at one is more thing? you can't let a you can't let a dog shit baseboard stop you from buying a house that shouldn't be it like if there's if there's a crack in the foundation don't buy the house if there's dog shit on the baseboard fix take it out put find a handyman to fix the baseboard for you because there's yeah. probably grosser things than that yeah. Oh my gosh. I know when we sold our last, but you have to think about this anytime you buy a home that someone else has lived in and that's odds are someone has sharded on the floor. Someone has vomited someone on the carpet. As like a human. I can honestly tell you I've never sharded on the floor. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying with babies, you have kids. Oh yeah. They... I'm not saying as an adult, I go and <laughs> Yeah, no. I mean, the, like the baby poop is, I, I still think that like baby poop is in its own category, which is less gross than human poop and, and yeah. our adult poop. And then also dog poop is in its own category, which is less gross than human. Like grown adult poop is the epitome of nastiness. If this is where I draw the line, like dog shark baseboard in the house, I'm looking to buy it. I'll buy it. I'll fix the baseboard. I'll get somebody to fix it for me. Or will it you sit tell me Timmy who years. used to Timmy, who's the 70 year old dude who owns the house before me and I'm going to buy it. Now Painted there's a brown the stain on this wall and the yeah. And the, yeah, Timmy accidentally had an accident a few months ago and that's what that's from not buying the house. 
<laughs> How fresh does the state have to be? Doesn't it could be from 1947 not buying the house? <laughs> what if it has a pool? Like a what if the house is completely redone except for that one piece of board that has Timmy shit on it, the <laughs> 70 year old man? But what if everything else was everything you wanted and more? Could well, you Timmy's, look past that? Timmy shitting on the wall, he's probably shitting in the pool too, and I'm having trouble getting past that in my mind. Oh my this God. is this is the scary part for me is like if the color is still there, that means that you weren't able to clean it very well. Like it's not all right. gone. It's right. not all gone. Like it you can bleach it and you can sandpaper it, you could do any, but if it's still brown, there's still shit in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you are so quirky. It's hilarious. So you wouldn't buy your dream house. On 100 acres, it's the house from Yellowstone, the house from Dallas. You wouldn't live. Are they giving it to me for free? Okay, so say we'll <laughs> they're giving it to you. Say this ranch is, I'm sorry, we're still on this. Say this ranch is worth $10 million, but they said, Sean, 100000 we'll call it cool. All right, but Timmy can Grandpa sit on the Timmy walls. Should. He can, he can, he can shit on the wall and not clean the walls. Like the shit can still be on the walls without anyone trying you to take it off. Just yeah, well, that's eyes. a different story. The, the scenario is different now because it's the Yellowstone Clearly, house. No, no, it doesn't matter what house it is. If it's a ten million dollar house and I'm getting it for a hundred grand, money is more important to me than like not being around human poop. I guess. Okay. Next question, because <laughs> <laughs> I love your answers make me laugh. My next question is, what if it's slightly haunted? No, I'm out. That's, that's, <laughs> that is, I have said this before, and I'm going to stick with where I draw the line, and that is, I cannot live with ghosts, even nice ones. I just, I was going to say, I still no. have nightmares as an adult man who's 37 years old. I don't have nightmares about people kidnapping my kids. Like, well, I don't have nightmares about like my wife. Stuff that should matter. Yeah, I don't have nightmares about my wife sleeping with Tom Brady. I don't have nightmares about like real life things. I, I have nightmares about ghosts. Like I, I'll hear like a creak in the house at two thirty in the morning, and I'm up the rest of the night. Like the house is probably haunted. We're gonna have to move. So my question is: I'm assuming you hate scary movies. No, I really, I, yeah. I, thought, I'm I also, would assume you hate we've them. talked about like the sci fi thing and Star Wars and Star oh, Trek and yeah, me right, having right. trouble believing them. If I can't believe it, I can't get into it. Um, and so a lot of scary movies are unbelievable, but the, the, the believable ones get me. I'll still yeah. watch them, but I'm, I love I, going, I piss my pants a little bit. I love going to the theater and seeing scary movies that's like my favorite thing to do yeah and i know you remember you telling me that i like honestly can't even remember 75 like percent of away. scary movies are complete garbage and yeah. at the end you're like that sucked but it's still fun to go and have that like fight or flight like constant tension what are you doing right now it literally looks like you're jerking off no i'm rubbing my computer there was like donut there was a piece of glazed donut on it you have to understand that your arm was under the table and you were frantic. Oh, my moving. arm was right on the table. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Yes. That, that, I don't see. There's two different types of scares in a movie. There's the jump scare, which I don't like. Like, just to, I don't, that's, uh, that, I doesn't do anything for me and I don't like it. And, yeah. but then there's just like the, oh my gosh, that's scary. Like, there's just the overall, like, you're scared. That that's a bad. What scare. okay? What scary genre? Because I ghost. Okay, but listen to me. Oh, calm down. Sorry. No ghosts. I used to um, really have bad nightmares about zombies. Like I had nightmares about zombies taking over, and I do think that's still to me the most troubling, like type in the genre. Is I know this is so dorky, and I'm so sorry. But I would have nightmares and wake up all sweaty because I dreamt zombies. <laughs> and ghosts don't bother me. See, I don't know why ghosts bother me so much. I I, I don't really under like when I actually can sit and like critically think, I, I don't really get it, but they do. And it's just part of it. But it's because I feel like 
maybe like going back to the real stuff i feel like maybe that could be real like yeah. knowing that there's just this like orb weird unknown thing in my house or in my presence is it's weird and weird frightening at the same time like zombies are still especially the way that they're portrayed in hollywood like yeah Yeah. that that probably can't happen i will say the first like three maybe even three and a half seasons of the walking dead were We're pretty pretty believable and then that show got like super sci-fi and stupid but uh, early on like all right maybe a zombie apocalypse could really happen so i get it i get where zombies it kind of freaks me out yeah they have that zombie beer disease which is kind of like yes, yes. It, it, it's different in the sense that they're not dead they're like fully alive but they get this disease they're rabid them, like wander like Wah, and they just want to bite everything <laughs> that was a good reenactment sean um i was just read well first of all i have to stop you because again i do go through and re-watch these shows for editing and you say a word and every time i hear you say it because you do say it regularly at least once a week you say the word and i think you say it wrong i think it's rigmarole i've never said that word part of the whole rigmarole of, of mother's day you have absolutely said i might word. have said it one time because I, I kind of vaguely remember but it's not a regular thing in my vocab- vocabulary and i don't even know what that means you I'm you Googling. say rigmarole and you've oh, done it like multiple I think times. I did it one time. No, you. I'm see now. I'm gonna have to go through, and I'm gonna have to find the clips of you saying rigmarole. It's rigmarole like, is what it is, and it's a <laughs> noun that means a long, complicated, and annoying process that seems unnecessary. Okay, well, we were both saying it wrong. It's rigmarole. Roll. It's R I G M A R O L E. Rigmarole. <laughs> How interesting. We're dumb. Um, You're mostly dumb because you just tried to grammar Nazi me and you were wrong. <laughs> and that is like double, You're triple, right. quadruple bonus That's points. That's disgusting. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you won the game today. I was just reading that the Mirage. Have you ever stayed at the Mirage in Las Vegas? I haven't ever stayed at the Mirage. I, I've i walked through. They have like fancy gardens or they used to. And I used to want to walk through because it always had signs that would say that Siegfried and Roy's white tigers were there somewhere. And so I'd walk through all these gardens and I don't give a shit about flowers and plants, but I'd walk through them all in the 180 degree heat in the middle of summer looking for these white tigers. And I never found them. That's my only mirage. Story. Shannon just lay Thanks by the pool. She was like, oh, you know like, what, honey, we... go search for those tigers. I'm going to take a nap. I just wanted to see the one that bit is like, fingers off or whatever like I, that's a notorious white tiger and i so want to meet morbid. It. <laughs> um no it's closing i saw they're, that they're closing it that makes me so sad so uh, like uh last year we went to this um concert at the sphere in rich Las people Vegas. things it was okay i don't people have a job who have fountains in their yards <laughs> You have, you said you had a fountain and the UPS guy tried to move it with you. And you yeah, my it was fountain weird. is like a $14 Amazon special. Your fountain's built yeah. into rocks from a landscaping company that costs thousands of dollars. Go ahead. You went Not to the, the sphere. Point. Stop it. We went to the sphere to see you two because Ryan loves you too. And it was the first show at the sphere, which was very amazingly cool. But one of the things that you two did was um because you're surrounded by like uh i'm so i can't explain this you're surrounded by screens ultimately and so what they did was during one song it showed the progression of las vegas where it started and then like a fast progression of like buildings going up and this going down and this going up like i remember circus circus my parents took us to circus circus and uh and now all those things are gone no circus circus is still there and how oh. it's still there i have no idea i we stayed at the it used to be it might still be the newest one on the strip right now but they're building a whole bunch so it might not be but it's new the uh, resorts world because luke bryan was there and invited us out for uh <laughs> God, you know what i'm adding <laughs> yeah whatever he invited us out to go to his little residency there That's hot. So we got to stay at Resorts World. And the reason I bring this up is because it didn't cost me a freaking dollar. Um, (laughs) Anyway, right next to it was Circus Circus. And I was looking down from my room 
at what looked like something that should be in a casino junkyard. It looks like shit. I don't know that they've painted that place since 1977, and it needs a new pink paint job bad. I cannot believe that that one's still there. But what, I what it concerns got torn me, down. no, it's still there. As a matter of fact, I saw, I don't know why like, they keep popping up because we booked a trip to Vegas here recently. So on my TikTok here lately, these like list things that a, oh, an AI robot narrates keep popping up. And it's like the best buffet in Vegas and the best hotel in the Vegas. And I, yeah. the one that popped the up the other day, slots yeah. in Vegas. yes, that was one of them too. Actually, you're not even yeah. wrong, uh, right. but it was the worst rooms in Vegas, not the worst hotel, but the worst rooms overall. And Circus Circus was number one on that list. Um, it's still there and it's Luke a shithole. You invited you and put there. you up in Circus no, Circus. We stayed at Resorts World, which is next door. So my room <laughs> overlooked Circus Circus. Oh, um, you fancy. Anyways, yeah. it's I'm worried though, because remember, it wasn't that long ago, like right before the pandemic. So within the last five years, you could go to Vegas by by the time you bought flights and you got a hotel. It, you could go it was like three hundred dollars no place yeah you can't you can't have a staycation for as cheap as it was to go to las vegas but they're tearing down all these old hotels that are kind of shitty now that were like saving like money iconic yeah and now have you tried to stay at the cosmo have you tried to stay at resorts world go look at how much a room costs oh, at yeah. one of those places like vegas is like unaffordable all of a sudden and that sucks because that was the intrigue of going there yeah, I the worst hotel room that I've stayed in in Vegas is we stayed at the was it the Flamingo? Yeah, that's a bad one. And I closed the shower curtain when I was showering, and there was blood on the inside of the shower curtain. <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, what in the world happened where there would be blood all over it? Clearly, it's a murder, right? Yeah, yeah so it's a murder. Okay. And then B, or they I was, cut their self while they were shaving their legs, which is no, much this less was cool. like a significant amount of blood. Yeah, it sometimes like, I shave my pubes and I get a pretty big cut. <laughs> Sean, you throw me off track. <laughs> <laughs> no, so anyway, I was like, we gotta leave. We gotta leave. And then, oh, we stayed at a hotel in Kansas when visiting family, and it's such a tiny town that there at the time were only like two motels. And we stayed at this one because it had a pool and the kids like to swim. They, it was so ghetto. It was a Holiday Inn. But you could tell at one time, this was a stunning. Holiday Inn used to do like bitchin' pools, like indoor pools. And they'd have slides. They, they got the assignment. And then uh, we went to this one in Kansas. And I remember there was a condom floating where my children were swimming. <laughs> I'm like, get out of the pool, get out of the pool, you know? And then how do you tell kids no more fun because there's a floating condom in the holiday and pool? How do I explain that? I sounded like a monster that day because I was like, no more swimming. They did I would it have for said like somebody shit in there. I would have lied and I would have said, sorry, Timmy, the 70 year old man, he was in the pool. And Timmy he took gets a poop. around. Yeah. Timmy took a poop in there. So we got to go today because even a five year old doesn't want to swim in poopy water. They would understand. So that's what you should have done. Yeah, but the problem for is, me, which, oh, go ahead. The, the problem is, I've used the pooping excuse for everything since Murphy and the older children, of course, figured it out. But Murphy is now at that age where she's like, the McDonald's play place is still empty because there's <laughs> poo in it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just as pissed off as you are about this. I wanted to go and sit. And watch you take your shoes off and crawl through that dirty ass stuff, find a hamburger in the ball pit. I wanted those things for you. But no, some kid had to shit again. And uh, it's so funny how long that lasts where they're like, dang it. And then now she's starting to be like, mom. And well, like, both times oh. we went, both times we've gone to Great Wolf Lodge since Boone has been old enough to like play in the water park that they have in this hotel. Yeah. Somebody literally has shit in there and it <laughs> shut it down. And so he, he knows that that really happens. And then you, <laughs> you're like, don't forget this moment. The next time you want to go to the community. Pool. <laughs> yeah. And you know what they do? They, they, scoop, they, they try to catch it with a net. I'm sorry. Today's episode. Yeah, is let's so not, gross. do we have to explain it? No, I think it's, know but I, the only time we went to great wolf lodge, three 
people got hurt and cut themselves. And I remember standing and there was like blood in the water going down the drain because somebody coming off a slide cut their foot. I mean, it was like the most random stuff, but there was blood everywhere. I was like, why does blood follow me? They huh? weren't stopping you? They were no. they just let it go? And I'm like, somebody That's got hurt like. and there is blood. Yeah, they were just like, we'll put glug, 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 more chlorine. Um, let's end today's episode by thanking our sponsors at Christiana Salon and Spa. Why over the weekend, Sean and I were at the open house. Thank you to all the people that came you're, out. Now you're going to play the game that we're actually like in real time. Let's be real with the people, Sadie. We're recording. Okay, we're going Friday. tomorrow. We're recording this on the day before the party is going to happen, but you won't hear it until after the party. So we really hope it goes well. But for the sake that it goes really shitty and... I don't know what could happen at a hair salon that would cause it to be real shitty. All You're I can cute. think of is hair. It's weird for me to eat in a place that has hair flying all over. And I already said the hair getting in the Cheetos. And so that's probably the worst thing that could happen is you get a little bit of hair from old Betty. Who's getting a haircut. <laughs> you and have to worry about that. You, I I'm worried about it. I'm worried so. about it, but heaven forbid that happens. And the party's not good for me. I don't want to say that the party was great because we don't know yet. I hope yeah, but is. what I'm doing right now is I'm manifesting a successfully fun party where people are going to come and they're going to learn about this spa we've been talking about for so well, long. Well, you're now promoting a party that's already going to happen. So who gives a shit if it's fun <laughs> or not? Because they John! either you were there or you weren't. Hopefully we have another party someday and it's great. But yes, we were there. We we're going to be there tomorrow. When you're listening, we were already there at a party. We'll have to let you know how it goes, but we don't know. But it's a cool place regardless. It, they don't throw parties. So if their party sucks, I don't hold it over their head. They cut hair and they massage you and they wax you. That's what they do. And they're good at that. I promise that. I just let you go sometimes because it's fun yeah. to watch you spin. Well, okay. No, I'm not spinning. That's what I'm saying. They're, I don't know if their party is going to be good, but their hair cutting services and waxing services are. My God, are you still talking? How would you know you backed out of the butthole deal? All of a sudden, there were all these rules where you were like, it has to be somebody that I know, my friend, and it has to be uh, somebody with training. I'm like, what? Seems like fair requests. <laughs> okay. Anyway, are you oh. done talking about Christiana Salon? It's by Shields in Johnstown, Colorado, yes. just yes. in case you were wondering. If you don't live around that area, next time you're in northern Colorado, you should stop in and get your butthole waxed. <laughs> yeah let me watch because sean's a pussy have a great day and uh yeah hopefully it'll be a good party but this will be monday so <laughs> can't wait to talk about it <laughs>